That's a great song to lead into this, right? Oh, it really is. Ring of Fire. That's oh, what we're going gosh. to experience later on today. Oh, it's just going to be so exciting, mm, right? My I goodness. mean, the eclipse that we've been talking about for so long is finally here. Last one we had that was over the path of totality in the 1800s. Sir. 1806 to I be mean, exact. Crazy, and the right? next one is 2000. 244, right? That is right. Unbelievable. That's a long time. We won't be around for that one. We will not be, but we're going to enjoy today's. Joe Yoshannon is the uh, communications director here Hi. at the Great Lakes Science Center. First of all, thank you for welcoming us oh here my gosh, are you to kidding? your home. We're having so much fun. Thank you guys for bringing your whole show down Absolutely, here. Absolutely, man. Uh, I was you. just saying, it's so cool to see you guys out and about in the field. Normally, I see you guys back at the studio. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah. we love it, too. We love to be out in the community. We love to be up with everybody out here. This is the place to be. Yeah. The Great Lakes Science Center. I mean, you guys have, you've been planning this for a long, long time. We have. What do you guys have in store today? Well, besides the star of the show, literally the star, yeah. um, <laughs> we have a fantastic event planned today with our partners, NASA. We've got a whole NASA village right behind you guys. We've got live performances on the stage down there. We've got all kinds of vendors on our garage roof. You can meet the machines with Ohio Cat, and get some free books from the Cleveland Public Library. Nice. And come in to see the museum. All kinds of fun stuff going on. Talk about this event and what it means for your profile as, as the Great Lakes Science Center. Well, that's a really good question. Um, so, you know, you, you guys know, you guys cover events in Cleveland all the time. Cleveland has a really special spirit of collaboration that I don't think you quite find other places, right? So it's not just our profile that's going up. You know, it's, we're helping for all of Cleveland, uh, especially for the NASA Glenn Research Center, which is our hometown pride. Uh, uh, you know, for STEM and for aerospace research, you know, and for the museum, of course, and for and for the harbor area. Mm -hmm. More people will probably learn about this and be, you know, more interested to come down, don't you think, after I, this? I, I certainly hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I certainly hope so, Are yeah. you guys open today inside? Yes. 10 to 5. 10 to 5, yep. and the rest of the week, because we know a lot of people will be here anyway for yep. this week. And then you guys have glasses, so people can get their glasses. Oh, yeah. So yes. just come on down here. So many great free activities, all sorts of things. I mean, you just walk your way through all of yeah. Yeah. These booths that you guys have planned, each, all the tents. I mean, it's amazing. Each one of those booths has a separate thing to learn about, about things that NASA's doing. Yeah. We've Where are you going to be stationed when it, when the eclipse happens? Me? Yeah. Uh, hopefully right on the lawn by the wind turbine. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Joe, Joe, thank you, man. Thank, thank you. you. Great Appreciate to have you here again. Thanks, Thanks for, for welcoming us. It's been a great morning. Yeah. Thank you so now, much. Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to feel a few raindrops. I know. It's it's definitely picked up again. <laughs> <laughs> we want to check in with Scott to see yeah. what the world is going on. Hey, Scott, what's God. going on? I thought this was going to be past this by now. 